Spice Apothecary by Bev and Claire. Blending and using common spices for everyday help. So, uh, you get preface, um, chapter one, our connection to spices, two, um, how medicinal spices work, uh, creating your spice apothecary, using spices to support your um, health goals, and then recipes, and you get an appendix. Um, so, like, it talks about the global spice trade, native, <coughs> native um, spices in each continent, um, parts of plant from which spices are uh, sourced, plant families, um, sp uh, spices and disease prevention, um, to cook or not cook, fresh versus dried, um, nine spices for everyday use. Uh, it's a nice mix of like photos and um, illustrations. Um, so like this um, is the list of spices for each continent. So it's kind of a nice, it's kind of cool that like in the background that they shaped the spices into like the different continents. Um, parts of the plant from which they're um, sourced. So leaves and aerial plants. And it just has like the list of um, herbs there. Uh, fruits, um, seeds and pods. So like fruits, seeds and pods. Roots and rhizomes. And then bulb, which is garlic. So bark, cinnamon. So yeah. So cinnamon spice blend and cinnamon recipes. Um, so like this going into uh, cinnamon. So daily dose, half teaspoon, 1.3 grams powdered. Um, so introduction, so um, cult cultivators and varieties. Um, so like cumin, so like blends and recipes, like information, uh, spices are around the globe, Zinzabar, create common focus, so uh, cinnamon oat bake, so that's what the um, recipes look like. So. Um, it's a decent book if you want, if you are the type of person who likes using spices and want that other information, who want that information, um, you are getting more information than recipes in this book, but you are getting a good start of, um, of recipes to pick from so like this isn't like the beyond end all of like spice cookbook um, I'm pretty sure that there are other um, spice cookbooks out there that are just um, the recipes where this one is more um, informational so it's um, it's really nice for those who want um, that addition of information it's not fully engrossed like fully um, not be your end all be all source, but it's a good start uh, of a book. Um, so yeah, if you are um, a spice lover, <laughs> this can be a great um, book to add into your own little book collection. So Spice Apothecary, happy readings.